About four years ago, I started making and selling my own handmade oil wax finishes. Since then, I've sold almost a thousand pots of it, taken loads of feedback from the people who have bought it and made adjustments to the recipes, changed the packaging so that it's recyclable and easier to package, and changed my method of making it to make things more efficient and more consistent. But there's one piece of feedback that I kept getting that I didn't have a solution for until now. This is the new addition to the KB Oil Wax range, KB Oil Wax Clear. I've been working on developing this over the past couple of weeks where I've been doing lots of experimentation and testing and it's designed to be completely transparent when it dries so that unlike the other two products in the range, it's non-yellowing, i.e. it doesn't amber or darken the wood that you apply it to. Instead, it preserves the natural color of the timber while still adding a layer of protection, smoothness and sheen. So in this video, I'm going to show you how it performs alongside the other products on different types of timber. And if you stay tuned, I also have a special discount for you if you fancy giving any of these products a try. First though, why might you want a non-yellowing finish like this one? It really depends on your own preferences, but personally, if I'm using it on a darker colored wood like Sapili, Walnut or Moranti, I actually really like the yellowing that the original and food safe formula versions of the product give. It really pops the grain nicely and adds warmth to the color of the timber. But with lighter color woods, particularly pine, spruce or fir, that yellow color tone can be undesirable because these woods tend to darken with age anyway, especially if exposed to sunlight and I've never been a fan of that orangey pine look. The same can be said for other lighter colored woods like beech, maple, birch, and oak. So that's where I would prefer to use the clear version. So now let's try out all three of these products on a few different species of timber. So here from left to right are my light wood samples. I've got beech, spruce, pine, oak, and birch. And I've taped them off to give some clear lines between each finish. First up is the original and you can see that it darkens and yellows the samples ever so slightly on application and as it absorbs into the wood it will darken a bit more over the next few minutes. The food safe formula is a blend of mineral oil and beeswax and a lot of people seem to think that because mineral oil is clear that it doesn't darken and amber the wood but that's not the case at all so you'll see as I apply it to the samples that it also darkens and yellows almost as much as the original formula. What's interesting about the new clear version is that as you apply it, you might be thinking, hang on a minute, this is darkening and yellowing the samples just as much as the previous two. But that's just because it's wet at the moment and it needs a bit of time to cure and then it will be almost completely transparent. I thought I should demonstrate the effects on some darker colored wood too. So here's a piece of Sapili and it really brings out the grain in the wood as it goes on. I left the samples for half an hour and then came back to them and this is how they look now. So you can see that the clear finish has dried nice and clear and I'm going to strip the tape off just so you can see the colour of the bare timber underneath for comparison. I'm just going to buff these with a cotton cloth now which will give the finishes a nice sheen. And this is the end result. And now over to the lighter coloured samples. This first one is Beach. This is Sapili. And Birch Ply. Welcome to the room where I make the finishes. You can see here I've got an army of slow cookers just to make sure there's no cross contamination. I thought I should answer some frequently asked questions about the products while I'm here. First, how durable are they? They're not going to compete with hard wax oils or varnishes in terms of hardness, but what they lack in hardness, they more than make up for in repairability. So for example, if I apply some dabs of water onto the bare wood and onto where the three finishes have been applied, You'll see that after a few minutes, the water soaks into the wood where no finish has been applied. But on top of the three finishes, it beads up quite nicely. So they are water resistant. And as long as you're not drenching things in water or letting them sit in water, they do hold up really well. I decided to let the water sit to see how it affects the finishes though. And as you'll see that standing water has damaged the finishes, but a quick light sanding with some 120 grit and a reapplication restores the finish really nicely. Of the three products, honestly, there's not much between them, but the most durable is the original formula, and that's because it contains boiled linseed oil, which is a drying oil that cures hard. Can they be used on metal? Yes, absolutely. They work just as good on metal as they do on wood. They can help prevent rust, and they will give tools a nice smooth surface ready for work. 
are they food safe? Well, I've heard it being said that all finishes are food safe once fully cured, and I have no reason to doubt that, but obviously the food safe formula version is made up of only ingredients that are specifically food safe, like refined mineral oil and filtered beeswax. So it's the best option for use on things like cutting boards, spoons, and bowls that you might want to eat out of. How many coats do you need to apply? Two coats gives the best results in my experience, but one is fine too. If you want more of a sheen, I'd definitely recommend putting two coats on and then doing lots of buffing and it'll come up really nice. If you'd like to try out any of the products shown in this video, you'll find links in the description box below. You'll also get some free Rag & Bone Brown stickers and you'll be helping to support my channel, which I'm obviously very grateful for. You can also get 10% off using the offer code PINEAPPLESHORTS at checkout. Thank you for watching.